Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Juan Daniel was determined to become a great chef and his first step was to enter a luxury restaurant as a waiter. However, they accused him and threw him out as a thief, not knowing that this is what would happen next. Juan Daniel was the oldest of four brothers whose father made all the effort in the world to provide them with the basics. The man sold sweets on the streets and also did nighttime surveillance in a neighborhood near his house to supplement household expenses. Juan Daniel dreamed of being able to finish his basic studies and then become professional in gastronomy, but his father and his mother had been clear to him and warned him that they did not have the economic conditions to take him to that level. When the young man started high school, he did it in the night mode. He therefore began to work taking care of cars in a building where the offices of different companies operated. In that job, he met an Italian who would soon open a pasta restaurant aimed at a high segment of society. Therefore, he needed very well-trained personnel. One morning, the Italian asked him to clean his car and they had a talk. The boy, unaware of the man's plans, told him that he wanted to be a chef and that although he knew it was difficult because his family had no money to put him to study, he was convinced that with great effort he was going to achieve it. The Italian liked Juan Daniel's strength of determination and told him that he was going to open a restaurant and that he could give him a job opportunity so that he could earn a little better than taking care of cars. At that time, the boy felt very happy because he had the opportunity to improve his income. But he also visualized himself seeing how chefs work to learn something from them. The Italian told him that he would not make the selection of personnel, but a manager that he had hired for the premises. However, he gave the boy a book of etiquette and protocol so that he could prepare himself with the basic knowledge of a good waiter. When the time was near for the restaurant to open, the Italian told Juan Daniel that in a couple of days he had an appointment at the place. Don Arturo was the manager and who was in charge of selecting those who would be part of the new gastronomic franchise. Juan Daniel attended the scheduled interview, and together with six boys, they were put to the test in different situations that can occur with a client. Of the six, they selected four, who would work with Anselmo, the head waiter. On the opening day of the restaurant, the Italian was very happy to see that Juan Daniel had been selected on his own merits. He walked up to him and congratulated him. That was not well seen by Anselmo, who thought that the owner had some kind of favoritism for the boy. The night was extremely busy, but Juan Daniel and his colleagues did an excellent job. The first week was quite calm because the clientele did not arrive in droves. However, the fame of the excellent dishes cooked on the premises quickly spread. And from the third week of operation, the restaurant was full at all times. When the first month had passed, the restaurant manager congratulated his team and asked them to please continue working with the same enthusiasm and commitment as they were doing, because they were going at a good pace and the evaluations were positive. Six months after the opening, the restaurant had become a true benchmark for Italian gastronomy in the city. So there was a second evaluation, and this time Don Arturo congratulated Juan Daniel because he was the waiter who served the most orders and his work was impeccable. That aroused the envy of his co-workers and even the head waiter, so they began to murmur that the hard-working young man was a servile to Don Arturo and that he had an air of greatness because he knew the owner of the place. In his spare time, Juan Daniel would go to the kitchen to watch the chefs prepare the food. They asked him if he was interested in learning to cook, and he replied that it was his big dream. So they promised to support him so that he could reach it. Juan Daniel, when his shift ended, stayed behind to support the kitchen staff, and there the chefs began by teaching him the basics, such as techniques for cutting meat and vegetables. Then they taught him secrets of Italian cuisine, the cooking times of the pasta, the dressings, and the different sauces that make this gastronomy a delicacy. When he entered the afternoon shift, he arrived early at the restaurant with the same goal and had been a tireless learner. Well, despite the fact that he was an excellent waiter, he'd never tired of not learning from chefs. This bothered the head waiter and his colleagues more. So one by one he complained to Don Arturo and they told him that Juan Daniel was late, that he was not keeping his hours, and that they looked at him very suspiciously because he was spending too much time at the restaurant kitchen room. Don Arturo immediately sent for the head waiter, who told him that what the other boys were saying was true. Well, Juan Daniel already had about two weeks of being late and not complying with his work. Don Arturo remained calm and decided to wait for Juan Daniel to regain his spirit of responsibility. He'd made him stand out among the staff. Seeing that they hadn't even caught his attention, 
the head waiter and Juan Daniel's colleagues got together to hatch a more elaborate plan against him. They ordered the best packaged dish in the house. They paid for it and then gave it to Juan Daniel, telling him that it was an incentive for his outstanding work in the restaurant. The humble young man was very happy for that gesture that his companions had made. He thanked them and told them that he would take it home to share with his family. At the end of the day, they made sure that the boy went through the cameras and stopped him at the door so that there would be no doubt that the young man had food. Then the head waiter came to Don Arturo and told him that Juan Daniel was stealing food and the best. When checking the cameras, the man was able to verify that and immediately called Juan Daniel by phone to tell him that he would come to bring his settlement because he could no longer continue working with them. The boy was amazed and asked him where he had failed, and Don Arturo told him that he did not tolerate theft and that people were not irresponsible and were late. The boy was silent and only received the money he was entitled to. The boy said goodbye to the kitchen staff and left the restaurant. The head chef went to Don Arturo to try to advocate for Juan Daniel. However, the Lord did not want to listen to him, but the experienced cook asked him to look for evidence of what he had been told and to get to the bottom of the truth. Those words resounded in Don Arturo's head, and he went straight to review the history of the clock in which they marked entrances and exits, and then realized that Juan Daniel was the first to arrive and the last to leave. When checking the security cameras, he saw that he was the only waiter who supported taking out the garbage and even helped in the kitchen. Also, there he was able to verify that the head waiter and the other waiters had given the young man food. Realizing that he'd been carried away by gossip, Don Arturo was very sorry and immediately called the chef, who told him everything about Juan Daniel, including that he wanted to study cooking. Don Arturo called Juan Daniel to appear the next day. The humble young man showed up at the time he was requested, and Don Arturo apologized for having unfairly fired him. He also appointed him head waiter, and to his amazement, he saw that all the waiters were new. For the Lord had decided to dismiss the envious who had deceived him. Also, the restaurant awarded him a full scholarship so that he could pursue his culinary studies and achieve his dream of becoming a great chef. Today's story ends here. We hope it's been to your liking, and we invite you to give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you've not already done so. Remember to activate the bell of all notifications so that YouTube always alerts you when we upload a new video. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.